stick with some uh, exercises that are a little more manageable, a little more um, controlled, and a little healthier for the shoulders in particular. All right, and um, in our case, that means more of a horizontal movement versus a vertical movement. Wall, pull those shoulders back and head back into the wall, right? Arms locked out and straight out in front of you, thumbs up towards the ceiling, and then try to pull back and reach towards this wall. Excellent, abs tight, arms locked out. Very nicely done. Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's hard. Nice. All right, we've got a pull up or whatever variation, right? So if you're doing ring rows, that's fine. If you're doing those jump pull ups, that's fine. Great. And then the last one is going to be shoulder taps. You ready for this? A wad. I thought wad is like the gum that you chew for baseball, but I guess it's workout of the day. And so we're going to try to do all these reps and. See if I can keep up with everyone. Uh, beast mode. Is that what you said? This is all about. <laughs> Do this all the time, every day. Every day, having Come fun though, doing it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having fun. You know how you use one of these just yeah. in case. I don't know how much longer. I get you back. But hopefully the yeah. battery's charged. <laughs> all right, so we went through today's workouts yeah. and so forth. What, what is it that we can do at home? We don't have this nice equipment. Yeah. We might just have enough space at the house. What can we do at home? I would definitely look for things. So something like a pull-up is obviously going to be a little bit harder to do at home. Um, but if we can do some type of weighted um, you know, movement overhead, so you're using kind of more of a push. So grab a water bottle that you have at home. Start pushing it overhead. Um, the push-ups you can definitely do. We have a lot of people that use an angle of, say, their couch. And they do the push-ups from their couch. Um, slowly start to work their way back down. I would definitely just try to incorporate those pull push movements. Um, if you get a pair of exercise bands, much like the ones that we use today for um, that sh uh, shoulder retraction shoulder that we did, yeah. they sell skinnier ones. You can do banded pull parts that will help with the pulling yeah. movement. So just using things you have around your house. Excellent. And burpees are always an option. <laughs> <laughs> Burpees you can do without any equipment. Exactly. Doing them is the truth. I practiced all week trying to do them, and I couldn't do them. They're I'm terrible hard. with them. I tried them, tried them. I'm sure, the longer I go, I'm sure the better I'm going to get. Absolutely. Uh, I want to talk to you about the diet. Yeah. All right. You know, I've been on it now since uh, I, I want to say I started on the fourth before fourth or fifth. I, I started the diet. Yep. And I find myself not being hungry, no need for snacking, yeah. which is great. Yeah. But um, what kind of things can you now do after now we're on it for two weeks? Yeah. How do you mix it up? How do you keep it interesting? So definitely try to mix up your vegetables. So what a lot of people don't realize is that there are vegetables that are in season or out of season. Um, the ones that are in season are obvious, obviously going to be a lot more fresh. They're going to sure. taste better. So I would definitely try to mix up your vegetable intake. Um, have you been having fruits as well? Uh, sometimes. Very yeah, little, sometimes. Yeah. So maybe start mixing in a little bit more fruits, a little less veggies. Um, mix and match that way. Try the different nut butters. Yep. So what have you been having nut butter? None yet. None yet. None so yet. maybe okay. mix that in um, and start having combinations of foods. So if you take a banana and you lather on some um, almond butter, oh, it's so good. Yeah, heat stuff almond up in the microwave. I've been missing the butter. It's like a dessert. Forget about my bagels I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing my butter. There anything. you go. Yeah. All right, so now here's another situation yeah. for a person that is active on the go. I work 90 hours a week between my two jobs. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, there's a lot of, I found there's a lot of prep time needed to get my meals right. Yep. But when I don't, what are the healthy alternatives outside that I could, if I had to stop it, Bill's Pizza yeah. or something like that, yep. what could I get? I think it's really important to, because we have this issue a lot, right? People go out to dinner and they do really well at home and then they're like, I'm out with my kids, you know, I'm on the run, what do I get? It's really important to 
you know, take accountability in and don't be afraid to ask if you're at a restaurant, like, hey, what's in the salad dressing? What what are you putting on my chicken or my steak? Don't be able, don't be afraid to ask for things plain. Um, if you're going to Bill's, get a salad with grilled chicken. Um, or you know, gluten free pizza. Right. Uh, with the, gluten well, free, yeah, gluten free I mean, without the chicken. Right, no, exactly. Stop it. So they have the exactly. gluten free crust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So just take, you know, be more accountable when you go out to eat. A lot of people think it's kind of a free. And meal. a lot of people don't understand, too, they can ask for half orders. Absolutely. Uh, most of the yeah. restaurants, too, today. You can go out and say, listen, uh, you know, put half of it on my plate, put yep. half in the box. This way, you're not tempted. Have it for lunch tempted. tomorrow, yeah. It's, it's perfect, yeah. All right, excellent. Absolutely. Great advice, and yeah. uh, we'll see what comes up Great next week. Great job today, yeah. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> I think it's time to go have some cauliflower. So uh, <laughs> that's it for today. See ya.